throughout the pandemic, a lot of claims have surfaced on social media about at-home remedies and treatments for COVID-19. Ariane de Till with our Verified team warns of the dangers of one in particular, nebulized hydrogen peroxide. A dangerous home treatment for fighting COVID-19 is being shared online. It involves inhaling hydrogen peroxide through a nebulizer, the same device used in treating asthma. So let's verify, is inhaling nebulized hydrogen peroxide a treatment for COVID-19? We went to these sources for an answer. Inhaling hydrogen peroxide can be hazardous to your health, and you shouldn't do it. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America made a stern warning in a September blog post stating, it is dangerous. Hydrogen peroxide in liquid form is used as a mild antiseptic and an ingredient in household cleaners. While you might be exposed to it when you're cleaning your home or using toothpaste with added hydrogen peroxide, the quantities are diluted enough that it's safe to use. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry said inhaling a concentration of 10% or more of hydrogen peroxide can cause severe irritation to the lungs or even burned tissue. In some extreme cases, inhaling it can cause respiratory paralysis. A 2021 trial conducted in Brazil gave mouthwash with 1% hydrogen peroxide and nasal spray with 0.5% hydrogen peroxide to patients with COVID-19. The trial found, quote, insufficient evidence to demonstrate that H2O2 is effective as an auxiliary treatment for hospitalized COVID-19 patients. So we can verify, no, you should not inhale nebulized hydrogen peroxide for any reason, and it's not a COVID-19 treatment. With your Fast Fact, I'm Ariane Day Till.